Hey guys, Clumsy here, and welcome back to Transport Fever. This is the new line that we extended. The extended passenger line that crosses the river. I think it looks kind of really good. Especially if you look at it from this side. Ooh, new trains, interesting. If you look at it from this angle, maybe once that window disappears, there we go. And if you look at that, just curvy bendy track all the way here looks pretty good actually and i like how it uh, just retains its level as much as possible goes up but very gradually and retains its height so when it reaches this hill here it doesn't have to go uphill so much it looks kind of really good huh Maybe that's my biased opinion, but <laughs> I think it's good. I think it's good. Anyway, so in this episode, we'll probably extend this even more there. And we'll probably add more trains. But at the same time, I will have to improve some of the areas in here. We have some optimizations to do. So first and foremost, let's fix the supply chain. Because if you look at this one... We are getting a lot of backlog in terms of grain. Right now we only have how many? We only have which are you? If I zoom in, that one. Four tray four trucks. Let's add maybe hmm, four more maybe. Maybe that will do the trick. These are the Peter builds. One, two, three, four. Add you to I really like really like oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I really love this uh, new feature here of releasing only to lines which are visible in the current view. That's so helpful. If you played the game before, that wasn't like that. It was actually getting problems because once you had so many lines across the map, it was listing all of them regardless where you were looking at. Right, and this one, how is this doing? We have a lot of goods piling up on this bottom train. Are you earning anything? You actually are, that's pretty good. Might need to add one more train here though. Although the train itself might need a bit of a boost. Let me see. Let me see, that loco is which one? can't even see it here anymore. It's the class V100. It's uh, like 30 years old, but it's pretty cheap. So maybe it works. I'm thinking if I should add one more. But if I add one more, that will be 330k a year. Plus the wagons, that might reduce my income there. But on the other hand, I do have a lot of food and goods in here, so maybe it will help. Let's try and add one more. Let's try and add one more, one of the, one more of these. Uh, and let me maybe replace them with the new types of wagons. That might work. That might just work. Let's see. Class V100, and then seven wagons, which are the new ones. These ones, one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven. Release you to this line. Which one is it? It's uh, that one. Good. And let's set the replacement as well. Just to make all the trains consistent. Anyway, it should detect that our newest train already has the same kind of setup. Three, four, five, six, seven. Let's make that eight. Replace all that 6.89M, that's fine. Yeah, let's, let's see if that works. That might be a bit too heavy for the train, for the loco that we have, but we'll see. It really matches the color though. I really like how the color matches. That should make you a bit longer, there you go. And you should be able to pick up food and goods. That's perfect. Alright, that's perfect, that's what I wanted. Nice. Alright, cool. This one... Wait a minute, are you only carrying... No, no, you're all automatic. Okay, good. 
And because it was strange, they weren't pick up, picking up any goods at all. But this, this time, it seems like it's working. In terms of con mats, we have everything delivered here at the bottom. It's a full load. And there's 48 left, that's okay. Con mats, trains in here, arriving, we have 387, that's fine. That's fine. This train, 300 stone, we have uh, almost run out of stone, just in time. Alright, good, good, good. In here, we don't have any backlog in terms of goods. Um, we are losing a bit of money on the con mats. And it might be because some of the con mats are going to this line because we made these trucks automatic so maybe some of the construction materials are being put there as well so the this line this yellow line doesn't get anything left for them maybe that's it maybe that's it we'll see we'll see how it goes wow this train is really going slow now or maybe it really went slow even before i don't know maybe Look at all the waiting people in here. We'll need more trains. More passenger trains. If you look at the frequency, 3 minutes. And uh, yeah, I'm losing money. 2 million now. But once the new city that we added ramps up, that should get back up to speed. I think we'll have to add a, another train in here. Hope I don't do this the wrong way, but I think this is the right way to do it. Add one more. Deploy it on the line. There we go. So that should lessen the frequency at least. Three minutes, maybe one more later on. We'll see how it goes. Okay. Backlog here. Still 200, interesting. Do I still need four more? Well, let's see. Each truck can do 19. So I would need around 10 of them. Or a 190 grain in one trip but I, I, I doubt I need that much maybe let's just add four more and then that should be it I think that should be more than enough so we'll get all the grain we need in here and we actually have a lot of grain already what we need is oil no no we don't need oil grain is fine yeah, green is fine. In here, do we have planks? We do have planks, but we don't have plastic. So we might need some... Hmm. This is getting bad. This is getting bad. What happened to this train? This is a bit shorter than this one. Hmm. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> How the heck did that guy get through? I don't know. Alright, but yeah, it seems like that is creating some form of backlog. Some form of uh, limitation. Or maybe it just so happened that we looked when uh, that, uh, that thing happened. Maybe it's not often that it happens. Alright, we are reducing the backlog. That's good. That's good. Alright. So it seems like this part of the chain is filled. In terms of planks, we are getting a lot of planks in here. Maybe it's time to upgrade our train. Our solo train in here. And I'm thinking if we need one or more of them. Let me see. Where's the train? Crane is carrying 48. When it gets back, it will need to take in 71. So yeah, definitely need to add some more in here. Let's do that. Um, let's set the replacement. Uh, I think that's a class V100 if I'm not mistaken. That's the cheapo train. Let me double check. Yeah, class V100. You are this one. And the wagons are stake cars. So since I can only use very small stake cars anyway very slow can go up to 90 only let's take this one 
Uh, this one can hold more. All right, good. And uh, let's say, hmm, forty-eight. So one, two, three, four is currently what it has. Yes, yes. Then I can maybe make it seven. You know what? Let's make it eight. And uh, should I replace the local no, no, Let's do that first. Good. So at least you will be able to take all of these planks and uh, should be able to step up on the shipments here. Here? Okay, here no problem. Here they don't have a problem. They are able to take some goods just fine. That's okay. Right, that's stepping up. The train might be helpful if we could make it a bit faster instead of just 90. You guys think. But we just replaced it. No, it's fine. Let's leave it there. Let's leave it there. Okay. How about in here? Oh, yeah, I'm getting a lot of goods in here. This is because I made this other line automatic. So this one is, can carry all con mats and food and goods. And so the con mats are being split on two lines. And so sometimes the food and goods aren't being taken care of. It's a bit problematic. It's a bit problematic to be honest. But maybe we j just need to add some more trucks in there. I'm not really sure. We'll see. Uh, 247... Am I losing money? I hope not. I hope not. Yeah, I guess I need more trucks in the green line because as you can see here, currently we do even have more con mats on that on that specific con mats line. We have more trucks on that con mats line when the other line which can handle con mats food and goods has two less trucks that doesn't make sense at all so maybe if we can transfer some of these trucks um, let me see yeah like these guys don't have any trucks don't have anything whatsoever so let's sell one of you and maybe one more see yeah nothing left here need more trucks there let's add two more there or three more actually uh, where's the depot depot is all the way out here okay fine MEN one two three sign you to old dash commercial that one Good. although they, they do need to travel less that's the different thing between the two lines, but still, I think more trucks would be beneficial. I even got a comment from you guys saying that we should probably make three lines here. One for con mats, one for goods, and one for food to make it consistent. That might be true, although I'm a bit too lazy right now, so let's see if that works, that shortcut works. Okay, we are earning money, that's good. That's good. 389, alright, that's fine, that's fine. In here, no build up. Are we losing money? Um, I think we can afford to remove one more truck in here. Okay, there you go. Getting all the food and goods now. Awesome. Okay, we're earning money. That's good. That's a good thing. I'm happy. Now, in terms of trains, of passenger trains, how are things doing? Interestingly enough, the frequency still is in still three minutes, even if we added one train. That's a bit weird. We are losing money. No, no, we are still earning three million. That's good. I don't get it. Alright, we have a lot 
of plastics in here. And look at that, we're actually shipping back grain. We're <laughs> it's developed this uh, grain, if you remember in the previous episode, it was taking the grain from here, transferring it back to the farm, to the processing plant, and making food from that. So it's like taking grain here, all the way, taking it around, and landing in there. Why not? That's more money. I, I, I don't have any complaints about that. That's fine. Alright, we have 56 plastic. We need more trucks in here, definitely. Alright, now we only have three. Let's take three more. One, two, three on the plastic line. Yes, good. Whoa, something upgraded. I think it's this one. 400 limit now. Beautiful. Good. Good, good. Now oh, these guys don't have any color. Let's go and add some color in them. A little bit more feminine. <laughs> Can maybe red would be better for plastic? Yes. There we go. Oh, that's green. Okay, that needs to be yellow then. Yeah, yellow it is. And for plastic, we make it red. Vehicles, red. Now it's easily distinguishable. And why are you guys stuck there? Just spacing yourselves out, I think. It's just that you're so long that you actually hinder the traffic for the other line. Okay, there we go. Yeah, something like that. Okay, that's fine. We'll make it work somehow. Alright, that looks good. Trains. Trucks are going. Although, once this train gets here, to this double slip switch, will block the road here, and our trucks will get blocked as well. I might really need a bridge in here. That might be for the best. Although, looking at this... Uh, Looking at this setup, maybe a tunnel would work better because I'm seeing it an elevation here. Like if I hover my mouse here, you'll see the height over in this side, 173 meters. If I go here, 187 meters. So I should be easy to mm, should be easy to make a tunnel, but now let, let's let's keep it as is for now. I kind of like this setup; it's very realistic. It's not the most optimized, definitely not, but it is very efficient. Look at this. Carrying 21 goods and 57 grain. That's gonna be extra income for that line. That's beautiful. I'll take that. Okay, we have 83 people going to Old Dash, going south. No one going north. In here, we have 11. Did someone just leave? Yes, they did. Just 22, okay, that's not very good yet. Oh yes, I got comment as well. You guys said, uh, make a line here. Make a, what do you say? We're actually losing money in here. Make another line, because this is just going counterclockwise. I used to do this setup all the time, but I, for some reason I, I have been doubting if they're efficient. Uh, but you guys said, make always two directions or make the others uh, make the the single line go the opposite way at the end of the stop but i think i prefer having two lines for them just to make it more visible make the changes more visible make the difference more visible are we missing we're missing a stop here yes we are let's add a stop here Cram stop in this direction. Let's see. Stop is here. Let's maybe add one here. Or is that too close? Oh, let's add it. Let's add it. So that one should be the ninth stop. And for the other line, let's rename this first. Cram spring wolf clockwise. Yes. And then you're losing money, you go on a different line, 
you go there. And then we get one more tram. We don't want too many trams in here. We'll get too populated. It will get too uh, expensive as well. So here, you start on this station, you stop there first. Let's click that and make this the second stop. Perfect. Good. Okay, let's add one more tram in there. I'm not sure what tram we got though. The Toronto CRLV. Creme de la creme. That one. Good. Awesome. Alright, so we'll see if that works. We'll see if that proves to be better, but so far, if you look at Spring Wolf, population is increasing and the jobs, actually everything is increasing if you look at the signs. Even though we're not delivering any goods in here because we're moving people around. Maybe it's helping the economy. I hope, I hope. We'll see. Alright. How are things going? Going good. Wow, look at this. Just an influx of all the goods. Influx of grain and plastic. Hmm. That's the problem here. That might become a problem. Because... Grains are kind of blocking the view, blocking the way. So even though we have plastic, they're picking up grains first. This red line. And that might be a problem if we run out of plastic in here. Right now we don't still have some plastic, but you know, it kind of makes sense to hmm. Let me see. Yeah, look at that. No one is carrying plastic. It's their prioritizing grains. I don't really want to block it though. Maybe you should just get more trucks, huh? Yeah, let's just get more trucks. Power it through. Let's get uh, three more trucks. Do it, the brute force method. Yep, we are earning a lot of money in here. That's good. Just by shipping goods around. Playing with the system and stuff. Okay, that's good. That's good. That should enable us to capture some plastic. At least. Alright. Yeah, right now I guess we don't have any plastics anymore. Yeah, running out. Right, good. Alright, there we go. Now it's taking the plastic. That's what I wanted. Cool. Now this one doesn't have any grain left. So hopefully the grain that this yellow truck drops is for this plant although there is still 85 left plastics inside here so maybe it doesn't really need that many yet we'll see though we'll see how it goes i have a feeling this one is a bit you know what let me change this um i want to change it how do i do that i can make this the high capacity um station this one and I, I read that this is possible to make this pass through you just have to make it one way that one one way it's not there yeah that's the one to make it pass through although for our purpose two way is probably still more practical so I'll, I'll probably do it like this uh, length is let's see what is the ideal length here yeah, let's, let's maintain that 3 length. That should be fine. Okay, let's see how that works. Can I just upgrade this? Let's see. Maybe that will work. If I upgrade you to that one. Yeah, it, it flips at a different direction. Yeah, I, I read that in the comments. So instead of extending this way, it's extending that way. 
It's a bit derpy. But fine. Let's remove that. Let's replace you with decent stop like this. Uh, let's say... Hmm. Can I make actually a stop there? No, no. Let's let's do it traditionally like this. Um, left side street, top side street. No, don't really need that. Terminals two. I guess two terminals is fine. I can actually make three terminals. One for grain, one for the plastic. Maybe that will be better. Let's do that. Three terminals. Then let's align it. Uh, length is three. Fence type sound barrier. Should I make it like street? Like fenced? Yeah, let's make it fenced. Tram terminals. I don't know what that's for. I don't think we need it. There we go. So now... There you go. You both have separate lines. You have a long wind-up. And... Uh, for some reason, the plastic went away, though. For some reason, the plast all the plastics disappeared. Okay, fine. What's new? Whoa. Oh, awesome. Oh, man, it's time. All right. <laughs> all the new stuff. Yeah, because it's 1990. Ah, fine. Yes, yes. The cool trucks have arrived. The huge ship has arrived and the TGV... The improved TGV, I think, this one. The one at the bottom a while ago. I think that also improved stuff. Good. So where did the trucks go? Why did they all turn around? That's weird. Okay, but, but <laughs> fine. Let's uh, even this out a bit. Like so. Right, good. We have plastics, everybody happy. And uh, I can probably set up the grain somewhere. Let's say I create a new line from here to here. Okay. No, 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 not that one. To there, there. That one, let's say, is the truck, Northwest, Grain 360. Grain 360 because it's the one, it's the grain being shipped all the way around. Yeah, 360 degrees. So this time, okay, now they're sharing like that. Let's say three trucks here. You transfer to... Let me see how it works. Okay, let's let's transfer some trucks in here, like this one. Let's transfer you to the Grain 360. Okay. In the Grain 360, let's say. Uh, wait a minute. Okay, and then I think it's time. Maybe we can replace these trucks as well. We can replace them with these ones Deutsch Post DHLs and no change into grain only there we go replace yes and then the plastics mm, but I don't have enough I don't have enough wait a minute you transfer to grain 360 and you transfer to grain 360. Okay, good. 3-3. Three, three. I, I don't think I, I picked that right. You transfer to grain 360. Alright, 3 trucks. 6 on the plastic, 3 on the grains. Now we can replace them properly. Replace like so. And you, guys, replace... Let's get the red one. Uh, new generation, next generation trucks, that one TCH. Please, yes. Wait a minute, I did that wrong. 
I did that wrong because you should only be carrying plastics. Okay, there we go. So now the line would be separated. And the yellow, the grains here, let's also replace you to the yellow ones. Uh, because you would benefit from that because you can reach 100 kilometers per hour now. Let's see. Actually, like these guys to be DHLs. Yeah, let's go with DHL as well there. Yes. Yeah, that should help. Okay, what's happening here? Oh, that's how they do. They wait at that end. And then they make a U-turn. Right, that kind of makes sense. Uh, for some reason, the grain is still on that side. But that will disappear soon, I think. Because right now, we still have old trucks which carry everything. But once everything upgrades, that should normalize. Hopefully, that makes sense for you guys. Um, and uh, this one, we should upgrade to uh, large country roads so they can maximize the 100 kilometer speed limit that one the entire path let's upgrade it uh, that one yeah that should help them go faster can I upgrade even that yes I can why not and let's also upgrade this oh no I have a feeling oh, actually we could do it Perfect. Too much slope. Okay, that doesn't work though. Okay. That one works just fine. Okay, that one's not possible. Alright. So this bit doesn't work. It, <laughs> it becomes smaller here. Um, let me see. How can we do this? Maybe we can... Because that looks a bit ugly, to be honest. Maybe we can finally work on a bridge, huh? Let's try it. I hope I don't regret this. Either a bridge or a... Okay, that works though. That seems to work fine. A tunnel can work, could work as well. Actually, a tunnel might do better. Because that doesn't look very good and that has a collision somewhere. But a tunnel works perfectly fine. Yep. I'm game. Okay, it's... Oh crap, what happened there? No, 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 no. Oh man, wait a minute. I made a boo-boo, guys. I didn't realize I deleted one track. So, let's go and fix that up. Uh, brush strength high. Even that out. Let's fix this first. Go and connect. There you go. And you, I think, should be going around, right? Aren't you? I'm not really sure. I think you are because you're on that track there. Okay. All right. So let's make this tunnel again. Okay. Terrain alignment collision. Okay. Now it doesn't work anymore. Okay, that one works, but that's a bit too deep. Hmm, for some reason I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. Alright, let's see. Can we make a bridge somehow, somewhere, someplace? Nope, a tunnel. There, that works. That 
kind of tunnel works actually looks pretty nice I must say but it doesn't connect there that's a problem okay that one works maybe we can have it like that I think that kind of works fine it's a small tunnel if it looks good that is a bit questionable but maybe it works pretty well yes maybe and wrong way delete it from outside inwards and connect the roads like so perfect and even it out remove the ugliness right I think that good that's good that settles it okay you might even need to change this I'm being a bit OCD about it because I really want this to be even oh, too much slope can you believe it? Can you believe it? There we go. Happy? And now we bring back the terminal. Uh, let's go with the bigger one. Can you handle that? Can you fit in there? Yes, okay, good. Very good. Alright, happy? The lines are back? Yes, they are. Good. And now we have a... Huh. Can I say decent tunnel? We have a tunnel. That's what's important. <laughs> Good. I'm not sure what this train is doing. If it's stuck or something. No, it's good. It's good. And now we don't have any waiting lines there. See? So it is effective, definitely. Nice. Good, good. So that all should be picked up. I think. Via Old Dash. Yep, Old Dash is down south. So this train should pick them up. Including the, the runaway cranes. There we go. Beautiful. Right. And yeah, I don't think we'll have time to extend the passenger line anymore, but at least we were able to do a lot of improvements. Uh, what's happening here? Okay. Seems like we don't have enough grain, which is interesting. Because we have so many trucks traveling at 100 kilometers per hour in here. And we have a bit of a backlog building up, so it seems like we can manage much more okay hmm something got caught up let me see now the interesting thing here is why are these guys all stopping at that point because this is yellow why are the red trucks stopping on this side that's insane the red line should be on the right side hmm. the main purpose of this exercise was so you guys won't block each other but apparently that doesn't work for some weird reason some really weird reason oh that's nice I didn't see that before I can actually see which lines are going to reach which terminal cool loaded unloaded okay we'll have to take a look here this should be able to take the rightmost line here Instead of going here in the middle, otherwise we have a bug. Let's see. 
Turn right. There we go. That's the one. Maybe it was just a fluke or something. I don't know. Alright. I think we're losing a bit on the greens though. Um, let's see. Oh, maybe I just replace these. Replace you to become an, a different yellow truck. Maybe that one. Uh, that's famous as well, right? I forgot the name. How do you pronounce that? Da Dasher? Dasher? Yeah, that one. So you look different. Wow, it's getting pretty noisy in here now. <laughs> With all these trucks. I like it though. I like it. Beautiful. Okay, now they're going to the right way. Perfect. Love it. Very colorful track now. Here, yeah, doing good. This guy will pick up the goods going up north. Should have enough space for that. And the wagons. I love that animation, that opening animation there. Very nice. The tunnel. No comment. <laughs> but it's efficient. I'll give it that. That's efficient. Okay. Via old dash, 125 people waiting. That's not good. Okay, here we have a lot of people waiting as well. That's good now. Are we earning anything here? That's the question. Um, we are earning 1k on the counterclockwise line. We are losing 29k on the clockwise line. It's not so good. It's not so good. Maybe we can start a simple supply chain in here. I don't know. Can we? Con mats. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Alright, but here, it looks like we're able to take all of the planks properly. Yeah, that looks good. This guy is just earning pretty steadily. Here we're still... We still don't have enough trucks, it seems like. Wow. That's insane. Alright, let's go and get some more. Three trucks, maybe. Three DHLs so happy that you can finally have these trucks again these Scania's painted Scania trucks it's 1990 already time goes by so fast in this game that's why some people recommend uh, enabling the four times lower mod but personally I like it the default this default setup it might the game might go a bit fast but I don't know, I, I feel that it's just enough. Okay. That looks good. I probably will have to change this a bit though. This one, let's say... Full load on. Wait for 3 minutes. Mm. Yeah, that should be good. Or one minute. Wait for one minute. Right. Good, good. Let these trucks go. And look at these, all these grains. Additional income. I like it. Uh-huh. This guy is upgrading. Now. Perfect. And now we are out of planks. And the planks guys are appearing. That's perfect. Good, good, good. So that means the plank should upgrade as well. Yeah, scheduled to upgrade in two months. That's perfect. We have enough logs. That's good. So that means we'll need to upgrade our train pretty soon. Because the production there will increase as well. What else? Uh, in terms of passengers, how are we doing? Okay, we're ramping back up. We're back to 4.89 million profit. 5 million profit. Okay, that's very good. So the, the new city is ramping up. Once that's ready, we'll probably be able to add another city in the line. I'm just not sure if we have enough trains. 28 people waiting. 
in here we have 45 in 63 people waiting which i think could do one more train yeah i think one more train would help here look at this 116 117 people going to old dash here it's 55 but that will be full once this train arrives there so I'm not really sure. I think I want to add one more train because just because of these guys and to increase the frequency more or less. Let's, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's just have a look at the new stuff first. TGV duplex. Yeah, I remember these guys. 320 kilometers per hour. That's insane. And what we're applying is like a, a 30 year old train or almost 30 year old train but everything is just so expensive so we'll just have to make do there we go there we go the frequency is down 131 seconds perfect that should make it more attractive for our uh, passengers to stay and uh, ride the train instead of taking their own trucks or their own cars rather We still have the old trucks in here. Would it help if we... Hmm. Should we? Should we upgrade them? I don't think there's a real need. What the heck is here? 517 trains in here. I hope no one's stuck. Is anyone stuck? No. Okay, good. I guess the, the demand is just ramping up because the cities are growing and stuff. What I find strange here is that these two trains are next to each other. Look at that, they're actually... They should be more spaced out. That's so weird to me. That's this one. We have three trains in the Conmats line. Two of them are right next to each other. They're not spacing themselves out at all. If you look at the finances... Uh, we're actually barely earning money and we're even losing money. Wow. Conmat's line isn't the best, huh? Which is pretty weird because there's so many Conmats in here. So what could be delaying them? Do they need their own line or something? Like, I don't see any lag in here, like this guy. Are they going so slow? Maybe one logo isn't enough? Not really. I mean, this kind of distance... This kind of distance should be... Very profitable. I'm thinking. But maybe we have waiting trains. We'll have to take a look at that. That's something that we'll need to analyze pretty soon. Because it seems like we have too many trains now, too many industrial trains. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven line. Seven trains on the this, this uh, line. And it might be that they're waiting on each other. And maybe that's a problem. Maybe that's becoming a problem. Yeah. Could be. Could be. I don't really know. Any suggestions, guys? What do you think is causing that loss of money? Like, if we look at the Conmats line here, um, if you look at both Conmats lines, this one and uh, Freight, that one, this one is earning money. This is. This one is going to Wolfston. This is the, the cheap train, the Class V100. But if you look at this one... Okay, now we're earning a bit of money. But if you look at the past two years, we lose money. We earn money. So it's like just breaking even, more or less. But we're transferring or transporting so many conmats. So I'm expecting we should be earning millions in there. So what's wrong? What can we improve? Like 648, that's just, just, a, just, that's just a shame that we're not earning more there. 
I might need an additional line in here. But this is gonna make it problematic. Because this is the city. And we'll need to demolish these houses. If we want to add more lines. Crap. That will be pretty complicated. Hmm. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. 19. Okay. Oh, that, that's not enough. Still 100 people waiting over there, going south. Alright, and in here. Perfect. Ramping up just fine. People are really liking to go here as well. So I'm expecting all 55 should drop off here. Otherwise, they shouldn't have uh, road ridden this train. Let's see. And then I'll let you go, guys. Alright. So. Okay, not everybody, but most of the people went off. That's okay, that's fine. So next episode, maybe we can increase, extend this here. Yeah, maybe. We'll see. Okay, we are earning money. Yes, we are. Not as much, but there have been many, many changes and improvements. So those will need time to ramp up. But yeah, it looks it's looking good so far. It's looking good so far. Let's keep it, keep it like that. So you see the delay here. This food train is just arriving because the the Conmats train just left, and then there is another Conmats train right behind it. And each delay like this is adding to the problem. How many months are they stuck here? In-game months. Each month they're incurring. Uh, 2.37 m divided by 12 yeah so that's really going to be it's going to be pretty taxing so maybe maybe the the tracks themselves don't need to be expanded but maybe we just need different platforms for them right what do you guys think about that so because I, i'm not really seeing any waiting trains when it comes to these tracks so they can there's more than enough, enough space for them. Like here. Alright, there, there's gonna be waiting. But that's, I guess, minimal. Oh, that's pretty close. That's like touching, just kissing a bit. But yeah, we barely get any waiting trains on the tracks. But on the platforms, that's a different story. Maybe to start with, let me upgrade this. Or should I do that next episode? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll wait for your guys' comments, but I'll probably add a new platform here. That will be very easy anyway. Make one for conmats and make one for food, just so they don't, uh, just so they don't block each other. Yes, and I, that maybe that will be enough already. Maybe that will be enough already. But we'll see. Let me guys know what you think about that solution. In here, I'm not seeing any waiting trains. Okay, yeah, we're good there. Yeah, here we do also have some waiting trains. But this is leaving. It's going. There's a bit of delay. But let's see, maybe if we fix that, this gets fixed as well. Or maybe the problem will climb to this area. We'll see, in, in, in here, I don't think there's a problem. This is a different line altogether. Yeah? Okay. Looking good. Good, good. Alright. Anyway, that's gonna be it for now, guys. Hopefully, you like the progress of our transport system. Seems like it's ramping up. Yeah, it seems like it's uh, getting there. Not the best, but it's improving. And we have reached 1990s, so we have unlocked these beautiful trucks and all this new these new technologies no longer in the old age so to speak right anyway thank you for watching guys hope you enjoyed that one if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more updates in the meantime this is the clumsy geek signing off thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next episode thanks and bye, -bye. have a good day